Hey guys, I'm Vince Luca and today we'll be taking a look at Tales of Tributes. That's the card game in Elder Scrolls Online. And for this video, I'll be looking at the novice difficulty level, so the entry level. And then in further videos, I'll be talking about the proficient level and expert level. But for this one, it's novice. And you will find these card games at the crown icon on your map. So for this one, I'm going to the gaming hall in High Isle to see if I could find myself a game of Tales for Novice level. They're up here on the second level and they won't have an arrow on them after you've completed the quest, but you could still play them. So uh, I'm going to play her and I'm going to try to explain the game a little bit, talk about my strategies, etc. So first of all, when you first enter, you're going to have to choose two patrons. Uh, the other player might choose two before you, or you might go first, but you'll have to choose two. And uh, these are the two patrons that are also going to basically tell the other player what two decks you're playing with. So in this case, I got these two. And once you've chosen your two, the game will start. So your goal is to get to 40 prestige points and above right here and you get these by increasing your power which is the red icon here so at the end of your turn whatever power you have there gets transformed into prestige points now another way of winning is to get the favor of the four nobles here or the patrons so once you have all four over here you win the game this is the easiest way to win uh, novice if you're playing against novice because I've noticed that the novice players don't ever try to win the favor of these nobles. So as soon as you get all four, you win the game. And you can only do one of these favors um, per round. So for example, if you want the favor of this noble, you have to pay two powers and have an agent card in your cooldown pile. Once you have that, you get his favor. So check what the uh, four favors are. For this one, you basically pay all your coins and you gain power and he becomes uh, in your favor as well. So he's the easiest one, the, uh, the crow. Um, do this one when you have a lot of coin, basically to gain all that power. Now this is a deck building game. So for those of you who don't know, is as you're buying cards, you're increasing your deck, making it bigger, but you also wanna trim the fat, which is these gold coin cards here. These are good at the beginning of the game, but Towards the middle and the end, you really don't want those cards, so you want to trim them. Uh, you'll be hearing me say a lot of trim the fat, because that's one of the best strategies for a deck building game. Now, there's four suits over here. Each color represents the uh, different nobles that you have. So if you put your mouse on your deck, you're going to see here the four suits, purple, yellow, blue and red. What I like to do is choose two colors that I'm going to be buying a lot of and two colors that I'm gonna really try to avoid when playing the game so in this case I'll probably go with purple and red uh, purple and red has been working really well for me so I'll go with those two colors this is a blue card you can tell by the logo here and each uh, noble is gonna have their own logo and symbol this is a red card this is a yellow and on the left side it's the ability so what it's gonna do so when you play it it's gonna replace two cards from the tavern and you'll gain six coins on the right side of the card these are combos so the more uh, you play of that color so yellow the more abilities you'll get so if you play a bunch of yellow cards in a row you'll get a bunch of abilities that combo out so what you want to do is play all your cards until you get uh, you know the gold that you want so for example, I played three gold, so that gave me three gold, and I could buy a card. Now, if it's glowing blue, that means you could buy it. And the most important thing, guys, is to trim the fat, so do not buy if you don't need. There's no reason to fill up your deck with cards that you don't need. So this is a yellow card here. It's exactly like the gold coin, but it's also a color, which is cool to uh, do combos. So I'm gonna use that to get a, another gold coin. And I'm going to use this to get one power. So at the end of my turn, this power is going to become victory points. So basically, the red is 
what you need to get victory points, your prestige, and the other is your gold. So there's two main resources, power and gold. Um, if you want to buy a card, the price is going to be at the top. And this is a yellow card here, looking at the logo on top. And it costs two gold, but every time I play it, it's going to give me three gold. So that's a pretty good purchase. And I still have two coins left. Now, when you have two coins left, don't buy whatever two coin card. Uh, the most important thing is to trim the fat of your deck. So you want to get rid of cards as well in your deck or transfer them into better cards. Uh, blue cards I'm not going to buy. I'm going to try to stay away from blue cards as much as possible. Like I said, choose two colors and those are the two colors you want to buy most of. But to trim the fat, this is the most important. The treasure chest here. This is what you're going to click on when you have two gold and you don't, don't know what to do with it or you have a lot of gold. Uh, use this treasury as much as possible, as soon as possible. Um, at the beginning of the game, it's very useful to get rid of these gold coins that you don't want. These are, they take up space in your deck, they're fat, and they only give you one gold coin, and eventually they're just going to bother you when you draw them. So remove them, and it's going to replace it with at least a two gold coin card. So that's trimming the fat. And once your hourglass here is blue, it means you can't do anything anymore. There's nothing for you to do. There's nothing for you to buy. If it's blue, just go click on it because there's nothing more you could do. So I'm going to click on that and that's going to end my turn. Now we're going to look at the other player. He's going to play some cards to increase his gold. As you can see, he's going to use the chest right away to get rid of the fat. And he's going to buy a blue card. Try to remember what he's buying. He bought a treasury card and that's it so now it's your turn now the hourglass is yellow so this means there's a lot of stuff you could do don't click on it yet so make sure that you do everything that you have to do in this case it's basically play all the cards that you have to get the gold and now i have five gold here so let's see if i should i want to buy purple but if I buy this, I won't have any gold left to do the treasure chest, right? Um, I got two yellow cards. So I'm just checking here what cards I have, what colors I need. And purple and red is what I plan to play with. So if I buy this one, I will have two gold left. So I will buy that one and use the two gold, like I said, to trim the fat. One of the most important thing in a deck building game is getting rid of your base cards. So that one became a two gold card. And now my hourglass is blue. So I'm going to go click on the blue. But before I do that, I'm going to explain these guys. So these guys have a shield at the bottom. They have taunt, which means that the power of the other player will not go into his prestige points at the end of the turn. It's going to attack your taunting uh, card instead. So I'll show you how that works later on. It's very straightforward. So he just did the uh, treasure chest again. So as you're trimming, he's also trimming. Make sure to always remove those cards that you don't want. And I'm going to play these cards here. Get my gold. See this one I bought for two gold. Now it's giving me three. So that one's a pretty good buy. And this red one here, these are the combos. So if you play two red cards, you'll get that combo if you play three you'll get another so you'll get three power on top of whatever red card you're playing so that's why i say choose two colors and buy those two colors that's what you want to do is play the same color cards in a row to trigger those combos now i have nine gold here and the only card that really interests me is the purple and the red like i said so let's see if I buy this one for four gold, which is cool because it has a draw a card effect and draw a card is very good in deck building games. And I'll buy this red card for three gold. I still have two left as always. When you have two gold, you could come and do one of these nobles here. So sacrifice a card you own and play that costs one or more. And he's going to become a favorite to you. Uh, 
let's see if I click on him it's gonna tell me which cards I could actually do so I could actually sacrifice the gold coin here and I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sacrifice the gold coin to get a two coin card and I'm gonna click on the blue hourglass since it's blue it means I can't do anything else now as the other player is doing his turn uh, I just wanted to mention that I'm also a board game reviewer on YouTube. I have a channel called Board to Dead TV. I've been reviewing board games since 2009. And most of them were deck building games. So that's why I know a lot about these deck building uh, card games. So let's trim the fat here. Again, most important thing in a deck builder is trimming your fat. And I'm not going to buy any of these cards because they're blue and yellow. So I'm not going for those. I'm going for red and purples and look at my cards here see these two things are already kind of useless to me i already want to trim these two out of my hand i'd rather have purples there or red cards so now it's uh, my turn i'm gonna spend the gold here I got five and i'm gonna get this purple combo here i should draw a card if i get a combo by playing two purple cards it's going to allow me to draw a card. Hopefully it's a purple again with a combo. That'd be nice. It's a red. But here you see the combo that I just did. So because I played two purples, I got that combo, which made me draw this card. It's a red card with some combo as well. Too bad there's no other red cards there, but that would have been a, a nice uh, combo. So now you have 10 coins here. Uh, I could buy this, which... Uh, for 10 gold is not bad because it allows you to buy a card or you could come here and trim the fat again like i said these uh one coin here yellow not really worth it for me i don't have any yellow cards to combo with so hmm yeah i might get rid of this yellow card here it's one gold it's yellow it's not really worth anything drawing it is not going to make me happy so if you know that there's a card that you're going to draw it's not going to make you happy <laughs> get rid of it and uh i'm going to buy maybe this guy and he's going to be a taunt because he has a shield at the bottom and my hourglass is blue so this guy here with the, the five at the bottom he's going to steal power from here from the other player Instead of him getting those at the end of the turn into his victory points, they're going to be removed from my shield. So hopefully we could see this on his turn and I'll show you how that works. So he's playing cards now to get money. Oh, and he got one power. So that power, instead of becoming a victory point for him, it's going to reduce my shield here to four. So I taunted him. I made him lose that power and he's still at two uh, prestige points. So now I got some red cards here with combos. So if I play two, I get a combo as you can see up here, which gave me three power. And the rest is all gold. So I don't want to buy any of these cards because they're blue and yellow. Maybe I could come here and get the favor of one of these guys don't forget these guys super important these four are going to make you win the game so what you want to do is get the favor of these four guys it's easier to get the favor of those four guys than to get to 40 prestige points the yellow and blue cards i'm not interested so let's see which one of these i could do first of all i could trim the fat here uh, i might get rid of this blue card because i don't i'm not playing blue this round i chose to go red and purple so I might get rid of this blue because it's useless. It only gives me one gold. It won't trigger any any combos because I'm not buying blue cards. So I'll probably get rid of that and get a two writ. But you could only do one of these per turn. So instead of doing the treasure, I'm going to do the crow. And I got his favor. As you can see, the arrow is pointing down towards me. And now it's yellow here, so I don't want to click on it. It's saying that there's something I can do. I can click on this, which is a red card. So if I click on it, it's as if I'm playing it, even though it's already there. And it's going to add to my combo of the other red cards that I played. So now I have 12 power. That's going to become 
prestige points at the end of my round. As soon as I click on the blue hourglass, I don't know why you could click on cards that are already in play, but if it tells you to do it, you should do it. Now see, my hand still has gold coins in there. Not happy. The other player is still trimming his fat and I'm stuck with fat in my hand. And I gotta get rid of that. Rule number one, guys, in this game, trim your fat. So play all your cards. In the middle row, I only got yellow and blue. I'm not playing yellow and blue, so I don't care. So I'm gonna trim the fat, get rid of a coin. And I have five gold, so you might be tempted to buy some cards for five gold. But all you're doing is adding fat to your deck. Cards that you don't need. So just click on the hourglass. It's not a waste of gold. It's actually better to not have those cards in your deck. And another good reason is if the other player is also playing the same colors as you. You're not giving him the choice but to buy those cards see so now he's buying those cards and it's revealing purple cards which is perfect for my turn where i do want to buy purple cards because those are the colors i'm playing so i'm going to use my gold and buy maybe this which allows me to draw a card for six gold that's pretty good or let's see yeah I got another red card there, but I'm going to use my three left over to get rid of this blue. I'm really tired of this blue card. It does nothing for me. It's fat. It's gone. Replaced with a two coin card and my hourglass is blue. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Now we'll wait for the other player. He's getting his gold. Bought a card. So we got some nice reds and purple there in the uh, in the buying, but I'm going to see if I could start getting some nobles on my side here. See, the other player is buying a lot of cards, and that's not good because it's just a mix of colors and he's never going to pull out combos. It's just not good. You want to keep your deck nice and small and tight with just two colors as you draw so that you could make those combos now i'm gonna probably buy this one because you get to draw a card and it combos into drawing a card drawing a card is very powerful it's op in deck building games especially deck building games that have combos like this one you want to draw cards so it's very useful to buy cards that have the ability to draw cards now, I think I'm going to use this guy here since I could sacrifice a card. And I think I'm going to sacrifice this yellow card here. As I said, I'm not playing yellow. Decided to go red and purple. Got rid of that and got the blue arrow to point towards me. So now I have the favor and it's a blue hourglass. So I'm going to end my turn. Now I'm really talking uh, really maybe childishly here uh, trying to teach players how to play this game it might sound like I'm talking to a five-year-old but in my experience every time I taught how to play a board game or a card game speaking like that really got it embedded into people's brains how to play a game so hopefully this is helping you and don't feel like you're a child or whatever because I'm talking to you at a very basic level but for some players or maybe maybe they are younger players who are playing this game uh, you know maybe the way I'm talking is gonna help so this guy here he wants the opponent to have an agent card and you have to have four gold so I have four gold here in my hands so I'm gonna use that to get up to four gold and now I could play this favor guy here to knock out an agent so make sure to keep an eye out uh, for the other player as soon as he plays an agent don't forget to come and see this uh, noble here to make sure that you could knock out his agent and pay for gold to have the favor so now i'm going to continue playing my cards here i'm going to get the combo from playing purple cards and i have seven gold to spend now i'm going to take 
10 seconds here. I'll give you 10 seconds to look at the cards in the middle of the table here and which one you think I would buy. Um, which one of these cards in the middle I should buy, depending on how we've been playing so far. There's two blue ones, there's a yellow, there's two reds. I have seven gold. I, I wouldn't buy this blue one. I wouldn't buy this blue one because we're not playing blue, right? I'd buy this red one for four gold because we're playing red purple. And it's a pretty good card. It gives you three power and it could combo as well. So I'm going to buy that. I have leftover money. I can't trim the fat because I already got the favor from someone this turn. So you can only do one of these per turn. So can't trim the fat. Don't want to buy any more cards. I mean, you could buy this one, but again, you're adding fat. I don't want to do that. I'm going to end my turn. Now, if you look at the other player, they're not really doing any combos there because they're not trimming their, their fat. And if they are, they're just adding fat by buying cards they don't need. I, I've seen him play all the colors and that's not good because he's not doing much of a combo. Now there's a bunch of blues and yellows that appeared in the middle of the table, which sucks for us because we don't want to buy any of those. But, you know, let's see what we can do here. Let's trim the fat off the gold there. Now I have six gold. Now, if there's a card, for example, that's going to give you the ability to draw and also change your the top of your deck or what you're going to draw next, then you might want to buy it. Even though it's not your color, it's going to help you combo your other colors. So for example, this for six gold is going to make me draw a card and also adjust the next four cards in my deck at the top of the deck which is very useful um, to buy late game so that you could actually prepare your next hand so I'm gonna buy that even though it's a blue card I'm not buying it to combo I'm buying it so that I could get my combos out faster now the other player is doing his turn he got a combo from playing two purple cards he bought a blue card he, he bought a random card just buying a lot of cards and playing things and not doing any of the nobles so novice is pretty easy to play and beat um, if you're here it's because you're having a hard time and hopefully my video is gonna help you so now if i want i could win the game very easily i just have to pay two powers and have an agent card in my cooldown pile which is my discard pile and I click on this and I win the game because I would have the favor of all the four nobles so the four nobles here are pointing downwards towards me which would make me win the game but I don't think I'm gonna do that you could also use abilities like um, even if the the guy already favored you you could use abilities this crow is he favors you but he's not gonna give you an ability but this one will if you sacrifice a card that you own and play you could do this ability every turn you want so if you want you could click on him and do this ability even though he's in your favor you could still use him they have special abilities that are in play all the time which is really practical so let's see if i could get to prestige 40 instead of finishing the game by um, quickly just turning this guy into my favor and that would end the game but i want to see if i could go further and show you what happens when you get to 40 prestige because it doesn't end the game right away there's still a few rounds that could happen so hopefully i could show you more strategy and more things that you can use against uh, novice players and even maybe the next level players uh, these are really good strategies that i'm telling you stick to two colors trim your fat buy cards at, towards the end of the game that are to draw or to adjust your deck to get those combos out now i'm going to trim here uh, there's no point in trimming these because 
you'll just get another one back so it doesn't do anything you'll throw out a two card to get a two card you'll only lose two gold by doing so it's not worth it so when you sacrifice a card sacrifice a gold coin or cards that are really useless to you uh, this guy could sacrifice this card to get three prestige but it's not worth it it's a purple and it's a good combo card for me so i'm not going to sacrifice that i'm just going to end my turn there and uh, hopefully draw some better cards how oh, he got two purple and red i still have those those two uh, rights that are kind of useless they just give me gold and at this point in the game i don't want gold i bought enough cards to start doing combos and getting prestige points purple is amazing it makes you draw and gives you gold and stuff so i'm gonna use that as a combo it's gonna make me draw a card i'm gonna shuffle because i have no more cards in my deck it's gonna draw another card here i got this blue that makes me draw again and adjust the top four cards so i'm gonna play that i drew a card i'm gonna get rid of this two coin thing because i don't want it it's not a combo it's not the two colors i'm playing with so this is gonna go into my discard pile i don't need it and next turn i know i'm gonna draw at least two purples and a red and hopefully another purple and red card so now i drew a lot of these gold coin things so i'm just gonna I have 13 gold and 5 power this round. So that's pretty powerful. Uh, if I go here, I can sacrifice one of these cards to get some prestige points. And you know what? I think I'm going to sacrifice this blue card. I'm going to get 5 prestige from it. Uh, it's done its job. It made me draw. It made me do the top of my deck. So now i got some prestige points out of it i got rid of it so i trimmed the fat and now i could see if uh, i'll probably buy this this guy because that's cheap i'll buy this since it's red it's only two you want red cards we're playing red and purple so i'll buy that one as well so i just bought three red cards that's going to be useful and uh, the rest is garbage for me right now and the hourglass is blue so i can't go further so see those those three cards I drew? Um, the other two are those gold rights. Too bad I didn't draw more purples or more reds. That would have been cool. But I really want to get rid of those, those two cards at the bottom, those white cards. Uh, they're useless. This late in the game, you don't want those. And that's what I mean by trimming the fat. You want to do that as early as possible. I'm going to play my purples, get my gold, and there's nothing really I want to buy. So maybe I could smash this, get five prestige points from that. Um, I really, I don't think I'm going to trim the fat, but I think I'm going to sacrifice one of these. It's hard to make the decision because it's a color you're playing, but you're getting to prestige points, which is getting you closer to winning the game. So don't worry about trashing big expensive cards. if. It's going to give you prestige points which is the point of winning the game then do it um, i'm gonna buy this guy because he could rearrange my deck which is really good like i said uh, a few blue cards a few cards that are out of your color to rearrange your colors so that you could make that combo work come out then it might be worth it to buy that one one or two cards in your deck that do that so now i got a good hand here of purples and reds that are gonna combo out probably gonna make me reach 40 or above and I'll show you what happens when that gets to 40 now that it's my turn I'll just play these to combo out play these purples to combo I get the gold from here so it looked like I was supposed to draw a card there from the purple combo but it says combo 3 at the bottom so you have to combo three purple cards to draw a card so just make sure you keep an eye out on how much the combo is needed to trigger that effect uh, maybe i'll do this guy to pass 40 right i don't need these cards anymore i'm about to get to 40 so i'll trash this it's going to give me five prestige i'm at 39 plus five so now 44 prestige so i passed the 40 mark 
and as you can see there's no victory thing that appeared or whatever so it doesn't end the game right away it gives the chance to the other player to see if they could reach 49 or higher and if they do then it goes back and forth between both players until one person reaches 80 at 80 then the game ends and that person wins but once you pass 40 doesn't automatically make you win you have to give the chance to show that the other player uh, might be able to catch up so as you can see they're trying their hardest they're playing a bunch of cards trying to combo but they'll never reach 49 they only reached 23 and that's how you win a novice match super easy anybody could do it all you got to do is trim the fat get the four nobles to your favor and buy cards from two colors those are the three things to remember trim the fat buy cards from two colors and do the nobles as fast as you can and you'll win uh, i'm going to show you what you get in your mail every time you beat one of these players uh, it was supposed to be a container but it didn't show up in my mail yet so uh, let's wait a little bit or go i'll go outside yeah, it's not showing up actually you know what i'll show you what the dailies are for this card game you have dailies that you could come and get from the siblings they're khajiit siblings here they have a blue arrow um, so the, the younger brother here he'll give you a daily quest to go play another player so if you want to play another player they, he'll you'll get rewards or uh, she gives you three different names of players that you can go uh, beat not players npcs but players of the card game you know what i mean so just go to the land area that's telling you to go to so win a tribute match in glenumbra so what i'm going to do is travel to glenumbra and show you where these players are if you want to go beat them and if you do these every day uh, you'll get rewards and if you beat all three of them, you get an even bigger reward. Now, I just want to take this time to remind you to subscribe and like the video if it's helped you. If you want to see me uh, beat the proficient players and the expert players, subscribe and I'll put a video on how to do that as well. So I'm going to go here to Glenumbra and I'll go to my inn here, the crown. Is usually close to the inn of the map and I know my map is super bright I know I've heard you and I've I've fixed it but not for this video because I only realized after how to fix it. it was the HDR setting on my ps5 or whatever but I fixed it so no more super bright maps hopefully but when you come to the inn here you'll see the uh, three white arrows now these are not the three players you have to beat this is just one of the players you have to beat and then you'll go to a second map and a third map but there's three because each one has their own difficulty level so for example she's an expert he's proficient and the guy sitting the girl sitting here is a novice so that's how you know who to play now if you want to play her She's telling you, uh, go get better cards, go get a better deck, because I'm going to kick your ass. So you might not want to play an expert yet. Stick to your novice players here. And again, the three rules of thumb. Buy two colors, trim the fat, and do the four nobles as soon as you can. Uh, let's see if I got this mail now. I did. So there it is. Tribute match rewards. And it looks like a little container. Let's go see what's inside. You won't get much since it's novice players and, you know, it's a, it's a green container. So you'll probably get a bit of gold and stuff like that. So we'll see what we get from this one. 80 gold and some materials, uh, which is actually pretty good. Uh, if you looked at my other video on how to get gold material, getting this amount of material is pretty good in a container. So... Uh, this is almost like finding gold and a heavy sack 
it's pretty pretty nice so if you do a lot of these and you get a lot of that those materials when you refine them you'll get a lot of gold materials anyways go check out my how to get gold materials video if you're interested in crafting and getting gold material stuff so thanks for watching i hope this video helped if you have any questions about the card game write it in the comments and i'll make sure to answer